Human trafficking is a huge problem all over the world, including right here in Indiana. Tonight at the Indiana Theater in downtown Terre Haute, you can watch a documentary that sheds light on this important topic. One of the directors of the movie joins our Brittany Earl live in studio. Brittany. Thank you, Melissa. We are very lucky to have Darren Fletcher with us here this morning to have one of the directors actually here in the studio with us. The movie, the documentary is tonight. It's called The Abolitionist. Now yourself, Darren Fletcher and Chet Thomas were the directors on this film. Kind of first tell us how this film came about and what's the topic? Kind of share with people a little more. I know we talked about human trafficking, but kind of give them a bigger, broader spectrum on what it is. Well, the real the film really follows uh, the course of this group called Operation Underground Railroad, uh, which we've been following for about three and a half years. Uh, we've done many operations with them, uh, almost 40 operations now in 18 different countries, and the film follows the first three of those operations. Okay, and just Operation Underground Railroad, um, you can probably talk a little more about this, but it's a group of highly trained men, former military, former law enforcement men who have some of the greatest or best experience kind of going into what you would call jumps or, you know, to take over, running into rooms, I guess you could say, rescuing these girls from human trafficking. Yeah, so what we really do is we, we always operate above grade, so we're always working with law enforcement in whatever country we're working with. Um, and oftentimes, uh, Homeland Security is involved. And we, t we go in with a team and we, we do some undercover work with undercover operators uh, from whatever country we're working with. And we set up sting operations, really. And we capture all of that on film so that all of that footage is used in the prosecution. Okay, let's talk a little bit about that too. Um, you know, in this abolitionist movie, kind of let people know a little bit about what they're gonna see and then we're gonna show it to you. Uh, again, what you see is, is the first three operations in the film that we did. Um, not all successful, uh, so we do show our, our underbelly a little bit. Well, so it's you real. Get to see. Oh, it's absolutely real. Everything you see is absolutely real. There's no reenactments at all in the film. And so uh, what you'll watch in the film is the rescue of 57 children and the arrest of seven different individuals. Okay, and we actually have some of that video. This is actually part of the movie. This is what you will see if you go to the movie tonight. It's at 5 o'clock is when it starts. The movie rolls at 7. Now, it kind of explain what we're seeing here. This is the Operation Underground Railroad. They're kind of uh, going into these sting operations. Yeah, so what you're watching here is our team who have all been working uh, with undercover operators and the sting operation actually happening right there, the arrest. So our team goes down with uh, the, the traffickers. Okay. to sort of keep that identity secret until we're out of the country. Now, from a director standpoint, you have a crew that has to actually go follow these guys. Kind of give us how intense, I mean, it can be dangerous for them. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure we knew exactly what we were getting into, but uh, we went through training for several months uh, with different military groups so that we could be kind of ready mm -hmm. uh, for whatever might happen. Um, they, o Operation Underground Road has great security teams that sort of watch over us and keep us safe and keep us out of getting into too much trouble, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, they, uh, they're, they're a fantastic organization. Okay, I don't want to give away all your secrets, but this movie is very real. You're kind of seeing it from your point of view. What are some of the different technologies that you had to use to film it just like that? You know, uh, this film couldn't have been possible probably five or six years ago. Uh, when we leave and go on an operation, we have anywhere between 25 and 40 cameras on our backs. Uh, ranging anything from water bottles up to full, you know, shoulder rigs, just depending on what the job demands. Okay, and you actually had to wire some of the operation, I guess, from the Operation Underground Railroad. They had to have hidden wires. You had to prepare for this. Most of the operators uh, are all wired. And so probably the biggest difficulty in making a film like this is that normally in a film you have a slate where you, you mark the take and the and the time code and this had nothing like that so you had to sync uh, 35 different cameras with eight different audio tracks 24 hours of footage every day i mean we filmed everything okay really quickly i want to get into more about the message of this but how long did it take you to make this film uh the film itself uh, probably the, the the longest process was the editing process because you had we did have 14,000 hours worth of footage to wow. cut down into what you see as an 87 minute film Okay. And so there's a 
yeah, there's a lot going on. Well, really, I want to talk about the message behind this film. I mean, here you can see it again. You guys are working with the, the sting operation. What is the message behind the abolitionists? Because obviously you're trying to promote to shut down human trafficking. Look, the whole reason we made the film, uh, when we first met Tim Ballard, we were doing a totally different film. We brought Tim Ballard on as a historical consultant because that's what we thought he did. He's an author uh, of histor historical books. And so we brought him on the project, and then he started telling us what he really did for a living, which was uh, he was an, a special agent for Homeland Security over the Child Crimes Division. And we started working with him and said, well, I don't know what's going to happen with this current project we're doing, but I know what the next film is we're going to do because once you hear those stories, you have to start telling them. You have to address it. I know there's something around two million children are being t pulled into this world, and you're going to see that in this film. Just again, this movie is coming up tonight. It's at the Indiana Theater in downtown Terre Haute. Doors open up at 5 o'clock. It is free, so everyone needs to attend this. It, you know, do yourself a favor. Educate yourself on this problem. The movie starts at 7. You actually can have a question Q&A with uh, our director here, Darren Fletcher, so you're going to have a chance to ask him questions about this film. Of course, Darren, thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate you joining us here in the morning. Thank you. All right, News 10 this morning. We'll be right back.